Hey, what's up guys? This is Gerard, back to you with another video on taxation. In this video, we're going to answer how much tax will Hidalin Diaz be liable to pay for her rewards and prices. Before I begin, I'd like to congratulate Hidalin for winning the first ever gold medal for the Philippines. And at the time this video is being recorded, Nesty Petesio also won a silver medal. So for the rest who are still in their respective events, we're definitely cheering for you. So I salute you guys for bringing honor to our country. So I was reading some of her articles and one of the things that really amazed me was the amount of prizes she received. In an article published by CNN Philippines last July 28, she received at least 43.5 million cash and other rewards. To look at the breakdown, the first one is 10 million cash incentive from the government under Republic Act 10699, otherwise known as the National Athletes and Coaches Benefit and Incentive Act. And then another 10 million pesos pledged by San Miguel Corporation President and CEO Ramon Ang. Next is another 10 million pledged by Mr. Manny Pangilinan via the MVP Sports Foundation. The fourth one is 3 million pledged by Deputy Speaker Mikey Romero of One Pac-Man Party List. Next would be 2.5 million cash incentive from the local government of Zamboanga City, where Diaz hailed from. And then 5 million cash and free fuel for life, which is pledged by Ciclab Atleta Sports Foundation Head and Phoenix Petroleum Chair Dennis Uy. Next would be 3 million and a house and lot in Zamboanga, as pledged by President Duterte. And then 14 million residential condominium unit in Eastwood City, pledged by Megaworld. 4 million house and lot at any First Park Homes community of her choice, pledged by Century Properties. And then house and lot in Tagaytay, courtesy of Philippine Olympic Committee President Bambol Tolentino. And then lifetime free flights by AirAsia and 80,000 free miles per year for life by Philippine Airlines. Now on all of these incentives and pledges, will she be liable to pay taxes? I asked this question because I saw another article in the Philippine News Agency website titled, Hidalin Diaz Gifts and Rewards Are Not Tax-Free. Now this begs the question, what particular tax are we talking about here? We have to look at it in two perspectives. The first one is Hidalin being the recipient of all of these pledges and incentives. Second one is the entities giving such incentives. Now one of her prizes is the 10 million pesos under Republic Act 10699. Now in Section 8, it says, For individual events, 10 million pesos and an Olympic gold medal of valor will be issued by the PSC to Hidilin Diaz. Now if we look at Section 32 of the tax code as amended, we'll see items that are excluded from gross income. Under item letter D, it says there that all prizes and awards granted to athletes in local and international sports competition, such as the Olympics, shall be excluded from gross income. In the case of pledges by businesses and private individuals, it may also be excluded from her gross income, again under Section 32. But this time under Letter B, Item Number 3, which is on gifts, bequests, and devices. Now in this situation, it presupposes that people who gave Hidalin such gifts paid or will pay the related donor's tax. So it's clear the cash and other things received that fall under the category of Section 32 of the tax code as amended, Hidalin will not be liable to pay any income taxes. Now looking at the second perspective, how about the entities that gave the gifts such as Megaworld, Dennis Uy, Century Properties, etc. They will be liable to pay the related donor's tax. Looking at the BIRC statement, they said the donors who gave these things to our gold medalists will be paying donor's tax where under the train law, the computation of donor's tax is now 6% in excess of 250000 Otherwise, the maximum donor's tax would be 1,004,000 plus 15% in excess of the 10 million. Now, with regards to the computation of donor's tax, you can check out this video right here where I talked about donor's tax and how to compute it. Again, congratulations to Hidalin and all of our Filipino athletes. Also, happy 117th anniversary to the Bureau of Internal Revenue. And that's it. So if you found this video very helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because it helps me create more videos for you. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.